Hello friends, this video on environment chemistry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It also calls, now the question is how to control the environment pollution. We have seen different kinds of environmental pollution, air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution. The question is how to control it. The first is waste management and the other is green chemistry. So with these we can easily control environmental pollution. So what is waste management? See waste management is nothing but it talks about the not biodegradable waste which you have, you should handle it properly, right? So waste, you can be from household waste, it can be medical waste, agricultural waste, industrial waste or mining waste, major category of waste, it has to be handled properly. So generally the domestic waste is first collected in this bin, dust bins, gone, and then from the private and the municipal trucks, it goes and if they are all collected and then it goes to a disposable site. So this truck will take to a disposable site. There the garbage is sorted out based on biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. This process is changing in many of the cities where the government is asking people to segregate the waste into biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste, right? Just to reduce the work of the people who are segregating it. And then the non-biodegradable waste, plastic, metal, scrap, etc., they are sent for recycling and the biodegradable waste are deposited in the landfillings and they are converted into compost. So if you see here, that's how it is done. This is non-biodegradable and biodegradable, they are separating it out. So these, these goes for recycling, the non-biodegradable and the biodegradable are deposited in landfills and they are converted into compost. This is the waste management. With this, even if you create pollutants, right? If you create mobile phones or uh, electronic gadgets or plastic, but if you handle it properly, it won't cause pollution because the plastics and all are, it goes for recycling and the one which are biodegradable is deposited in the land, in the landfills. Correct? So, if you don't collect this waste properly in the governments, it can go into sewage, it can block the sewage system or even if uh, the animals eat it, for example, cows or cattle, they eat this, they may die because if they eat polythens or polybag or the metal straps, they may choke and they may die. So the waste management is very critical. The next is green chemistry. What is green chemistry? As I told, there's a bunch of people who are just, who, who, a lot of people actually, they have destroyed earth actually, you know? they have polluted earth. And then there were a bunch of people they told you know, who want to see in nature. So they are told, okay, let's understand the cause of pollution. And this chemist friend who told, okay, I can find the cause of pollution for you guys. And he told, yes, I found the pollution cause. Now what to do? You know the pollution cause, which we have explained, which we have learned in this chapter in Mammal Chemistry. But there has to be someone who, will, who has to implement this, right? And learn this green chemistry. And there are a bunch of people, right? Or the, it's, um, as a science or you can say that you implement the ideas to make earth a better place. So these people told, okay, we'll find, we, we found the cause of pollution from this guy, this chemist told us the cause of pollution. Let's work on it to reduce the pollution at its source. Please note, it is to reduce the pollution at its source. This is the basic concept of green chemistry, right? So what is green chemistry? You see, it is nothing but utilizing the existing knowledge to reduce the impact, adverse impact on environment due to pollution. Right? It's all about developing new chemical products, new chemical process or improving the existing process to make it less harmful to human and nature. So the aspect generally covered in this environmental chemistry, green chemistry is use less harmful starting material, minimize the waste generation, the whole process try to minimize the waste generation and make sure the final product what on and the byproduct which you, this is byproduct by byproduct which you get is not toxic right and if possible search for more eco-friendly alternatives we'll give some examples for the green chemistry see for example in a chemical reaction right we have uh, reagents we have a medium in which the reaction takes place so the whole reaction depends on a lot of parameters, right? So if I have a reaction A plus B gives C plus D, right? So a lot of parameters are 
coming into play here the catalyst the temperature right the pressure so what if we can play with these parameters and make sure that the reaction happens fast or there is minimum waste or non toxic things are used right so green chemistry is all about using or uh, tweaking the reactions finding better ways right to make sure that we get environmental friendly products so see the other aspect of green chemistry is to recycle the waste for example if you see the plastic waste has high octane rating right and it doesn't have lead also it can be a good fuel it can be a good fuel in the plastics waste right and you see uh, the textiles uh, industry the plan is that they'll make uh, textile from the recycled plastic waste still this is the going on but soon we'll have textile from the recycled plastic waste also if you see there is a provision of producing electricity from garbage so we have tons of garbage we have we don't have much electricity there is a provision to prepare electricity from garbage using biogas so there is a pilot project going on where uh, if you see you take the garbage you remove the metals plastic paper etc and you culture it with some bacteria it produces methane gas and this methane gas can be used to produce electricity so there are ways right so this is garbage which is a pollutant and we are using burning coal to produce electricity adding more pollution why not combine these two no? add a and from this you prepare biogas and then electricity so you you save coal and in this case you somehow find a sink for this pollutant right here also but for the normal textile industry we spend so much you know, electricity and uh, chemicals for creating textile if we can use this uh, plastic waste to create textile right we can find a sink for all this plastic waste so a lot of research is going on in this area and the green chemistry is the one which is leading this area right so we can take some example of green chemistry in our day to day life example drying dry cleaning of clothes see earlier tetrachloroethane that is ccl2 or on ccl2 was used as a solvent for dry cleaning so it contaminates water and also it's considered to be carcinogenic so now liquid carbon dioxide and nitrogen is used for cleaning the next example is bleaching of paper see earlier chlorine was used so earlier chlorine was used but now h2o2 is used as a catalyst is used correct so in this case the first one i told earlier my tetrachloroethane was used right this is not used now now carbon dioxide and detergent is used the next example is chemical synthesis so many chemicals if you see for example ch3coh well so in this case now if you see you can prepare with 90% efficiency in one step oxidation method only so you take ethene you take oxygen you take that in catalyst to get ch3coh so earlier it was a complicated process with a lot of waste now we have got a better process right with less waste so with all these things right so you tend to decrease the pollutant increase productivity and that's all green chemistry is all about because see whatever we have achieved right the quality of life uh, we have got uh, if you compare your life with uh, your ancestors life right there's a huge difference the mobile phone there um, there are tv laptops and in fact you're watching this video on youtube because of uh, technology right so this technology has helped a lot but it has caused a pollution so there are two options one is stop everything let's go back to the, the agricultural era that is not good right the other is to smartly handle the pollution and this is a smart way to handle the pollution that is green chemistry that's all
Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.